here for this lesson about snacks. <laughs> Earlier this week when I was planning this lesson, um, I wasn't sure this would be an exciting topic for people, uh, but I thought I would do it anyways because at the time when I was thinking of what to do as a lesson, um, I was hungry. So I thought this would be a great lesson to do. I did do a lesson earlier um, on food. Um, just give me one sec here. I have to check something. Um, sorry folks, we're having uh, Dave the Canadian is joining us this morning. So Dave, if you're there, uh, you're a moderator as well. So Todd and Dave are going to help out this morning. Uh, Dave, if you want to just say hello to everyone in the chat, that would be great. Uh, but we're here today to do an English lesson about snacks. Um, I must confess that in Canada and in North America, uh, we probably eat far too many snacks, but uh, if you ever come to this country, you will want to know all of the names uh, for phrases, or names, <laughs> words and phrases for the snacks that we typically eat in Canada. And all of these snacks also uh, are very common in the United States. Uh, Canada and the United States eat a lot of very similar snacks. So I just want to say hi, especially to Todd. Uh, and we also have Dave this morning. So I have found another person to help out to moderate the chat during these lessons. Um, one of the reasons I asked Dave to help as well and for Todd to help is we're going to try and keep the chat English only from now on. Um, I think that that is a very wise thing to do. So if you're using the chat to talk to other people, um, just please keep it English only. Uh, hi to Sean from Free99. Um, so Sean is saying he is not doing a live stream later. Uh, no live stream for me, got to drive my daughter to work. So we'll get this lesson started on snacks and uh, when this is done, we'll uh, carry on with our days. If you do have a question during the live stream, there will be a link posted by Todd or Dave over there. Um, but we're going to talk about snack food. So uh, we call them snacks, but we also call it snack food. So. If I come home and I'm hungry, I should usually eat something healthy, but sometimes I just say to Jen, my wife, do we have any snack food in the house? Do we have any snacks in the house? It is the term that we use for little treats, little uh, the different kinds of food that we eat between meals. Um, generally, when you are eating a meal, you do not call any part of the meal a snack. So a snack is something that you have between breakfast and lunch, maybe between lunch and dinner or supper, or maybe you have a late night snack. I didn't put that word on here, but in English, we also say, ah, oh, I'm, I'm hungry at night. If you're hungry, you say, oh, I'm hungry. I'll have a late night snack. So call it uh, snack food, but we also call it snacks. Um, my, we might be going in order of my, uh, my favorites. So my, my favorite snack is uh, a cookie. So cookies are a very popular snack. A cookie, as you probably know, uh, is a flat baked good. Uh, and this right here is a chocolate chip cookie. That is my favorite kind of cookie to eat. Um, if we have chocolate chip cookies in the house, uh, I always eat way too many. So chocolate chip cookies um, are very popular. There are also just a ton of different kinds of cookies. There are many kinds of cookies. I'm not going to name them all, but cookies are a very popular snack. The other popular snack is something that we call a brownie. A brownie is made out of sugar and butter and cocoa and flour and a little bit of baking soda or baking powder. Uh, but a brownie is just a really yummy chocolate treat. Sometimes we also call these squares um, because they're made in a pan and then you cut them into squares with a knife. But if it is made out of cocoa and flour and butter and all that yummy stuff and sugar, we would call it a brownie. Um, sometimes brownies have icing, these don't. I'll talk about icing when we get to cakes. Um, we also eat a lot of potato chips or chips. I believe in Britain they would call these crisps, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we do eat a lot of chips uh, in 
uh, Canada and in North America in general. Uh, chips are made out of potatoes most of the time, although we're going to talk about another kind of chip in a minute. Um, but uh, definitely we eat chips and we do call them potato chips sometimes like, um, oh, I'm going to buy some potato chips from the store today. My favorite kind of potato chip is sour cream and onion. Um, there are some potato chips you can only buy in Canada, by the way. We have uh, ketchup chips and we have salt and vinegar chips. Although I think you can get salt and vinegar chips in uh, Britain as well. Some people like to eat their chips with dip. A dip is something that's made out of um, sometimes cream, sometimes cheese. Um, some people will use hummus as a dip. Uh, hummus is one of my favorite things to eat. Uh, with chips, but we sometimes will use a dip as well. Um, I'm going to jump over to the questions. I'm first going to say hi to all the people here. Hello everyone. How are you doing? Um, I'm going to uh, take some questions now. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if this video is helping you. First question is from Gaga. It says, Bright morning, thank to Bob. What is the name of the snack you usually eat and what is its price? I want to try its flavor. In Vietnam, we only need 25 cents to buy a regular snack. So my favorite snack is a chocolate chip cookie. At school here in the cafeteria, you can buy a big chocolate chip cookie for $1. Um, I do that too often, but they are yummy. Um, Henry from Taiwan has the next question. Henry says, Hi, Bob. What snack is your least favorite? So I corrected you a little bit there, Henry. Uh, do, does Canada have special made snacks for vegan? Thank you. So my least favorite snack is actually chips. Um, I will eat chips, um, but I don't love them. And I don't like pretzels. I'll show you a pretzel in a minute. Um, and are there any special snacks for vegan? Yes, there are many vegan varieties of the snacks that we eat. Uh, let's see here. Ricardo is asking, do you think that vermouth is essential for good snacks? I, I don't know. I don't usually drink with my snacks. Um, and Ying says, are cookies and biscuits the same? So in Canada, a cookie is a sweet baked treat that's flat. Uh, and in Canada, a biscuit is actually more like um, a bun. So I know in the UK and other places, they use the word biscuit to describe cookie sometimes or all the time. Um, but in Canada, a biscuit is more of a type of bread um, and a cookie is something sweet that you eat as a snack. Let's do one more question and then we'll move on with the lesson. Lisa says, hello, uh, could you call cheese cakes or nuts snacks? Cheese, maybe. Sometimes we cut cheese into little pieces and we'll eat it as a snack. Um, and nuts for sure and cakes for sure. So we were talking about chips. Besides potato chips, we also have tortilla chips. Uh, so tortilla chips are chips that are made sometimes from flour, usually from corn flour. Um, and tortilla chips are really good with salsa, okay? So this is a very common snack um, that people will eat when they're watching uh, a sports game. So I should mention, I think I forgot to mention that, um, brownies and cookies are common snacks for people to take to work and to eat at coffee break. So coffee break is a break in work between uh, breakfast and lunch. Um, potato chips and tortilla chips and salsa are actually more common on the weekend and they're more common uh, when people are watching something on TV like a sports game. So in our house, often on Friday night, my kids will watch a movie and they will eat chips during the movie. Um, we don't eat a lot of chips during the week. Uh, people don't bring chips in their lunch to work as a snack. That's just really not common. Um, but we do certainly eat them uh, when we're watching TV. Um, so this now is my least favorite snack. You can buy pretzels. Now I should explain though, if you can buy a pretzel, like a big fresh baked pretzel, that is yummy. I love those kind of pretzels. But this is a pretzel that comes in a bag. It's a hard, dry pretzel. 
and I do not, uh, I do not enjoy those. So um, for sure, pretzels that come in a bag are not my favorite thing to eat. Um, we also eat lots of popcorn. So I found a picture here where you can see the corn kernels. So these are popcorn kernels. And this is obviously popcorn. There's some chips in the background too. Um, but popcorn is something that we also eat at my house. We eat at home a lot. Um, we love popcorn. Uh, it's fun. We usually eat microwave popcorn. Uh, microwave popcorn comes in a flat bag and you put it in the microwave and you set the microwave for two minutes and then the bag fills with popped popcorn and it's really, really good. Hey, I just want to pause and say hi to the 426 people who are watching. Thank you for joining us uh, for this little English lesson this morning. We are talking about, you know, I put my paper in a funny spot. We're talking about snacks today. Um, if you have questions, you can post them over there when Todd or Dave shares the link. Um, but certainly, welcome. Uh, I hope you don't get too hungry during this lesson. Uh, it's, um, it's certainly a, a long lesson about food. Uh, let's see here. Um, next question is from Motormouth <laughs> motor Sean. So Sean learned the word Motormouth from me a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see. Bob, I like your haircut. Thank you. You look so cute and lovely. Thank you very much. Do you like watching movies during your free time? Okay, a little correction there. Um, maybe Netflix or movie theaters. What is your favorite snack when you are watching? So I really like eating peanut M&Ms. You'll have to look them up. It is a nut, a peanut that's covered in chocolate. That is my favorite snack, Shen, uh, Motor Mouth Shen. That is definitely my favorite snack. Uh, let me clean up my questions here, folks, and we will move on. Uh, Eugene says, uh, this is kind of a funny comment. Eugene Burakov says, hi, Bob. Hi, Eugene. You look great despite your love uh, of snacks. A little correction there, Eugene. You look great despite your love of snacks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, I do like snacks, but I work really hard not to eat too many of them. Um, snacks are good for a little treat once in a while. Um, Priya Newt, next question, and then we'll get back to the lesson. Hi, Bob. What's the difference between candy and sweet? So there isn't really. So candies are small, you know, very sugary things that we eat, um, and you would also call them sweets. So we in Canada generally use the word candy. Um, so my kids like candy very much so. Um, let's see. I'll do one more question. Um, yeah, this is some clarity for you. So Deekshant says... Um, hey Bob, hi Deke Shinj. <laughs> what do you mean by biscuit in Canada? Is it the same as the US? In Britain and India and some other countries, biscuit refers to cookies. So yes, in Canada, a biscuit is identical to the United States. Um, when you are in the US and have a biscuit, it is a flaky um, baked thing made from flour. And in Canada, that's what we call biscuits as well. So we have Biscuits, if you go to a restaurant for breakfast, you can have an, like bacon and egg on a biscuit. So in Canada, a biscuit is not a cookie. A biscuit is, if you search um, Google images for biscuit in the United States, you'll see a picture of what a biscuit is. Um, they're not very healthy, I don't think, biscuits. <laughs> I think um, they're, uh, they're full of uh, a lot of uh, oil, I think. So anyway, Saeed says, do you call something you drink like juice a snack? So generally, no. Snacks are the food we eat. Um, and if you're going to a party and you need to bring snacks, um, usually people will say, you know, bring snacks and some drinks. Okay, so we do keep them separate. Although when we eat snacks, we definitely have something to drink as well. Um, Speaking of candy, that's actually the next one. So candy comes in many forms. Um, there's hard candy, there's chewy candy, there's sweet candy, there's sour candy. My kids actually like um, sour candy. There's things called Skittles and Starburst and there's a whole bunch, there's jelly beans. Um, there's a whole, I could do a whole lesson just on candy, but I'm not going to. Um, but definitely there is, um, 
a lot of snacking going on in Canada where people are eating candy. Um, the, the place where you would eat candy is usually at a party. So at Christmas, we have candy uh, for the kids. Um, on your birthday, you might have candy available for people to eat, but we don't eat candy every day. Um, the only thing people might eat daily is uh, there's candies called peppermints, which give you uh, are good if you have bad breath. If you eat a peppermint, then you have your breath smells more like peppermint. Um, and people will chew gum uh, regularly, but we don't eat candies all the time. Um, but certainly, sweet candy, uh, sour candy. There's also because my parents uh, originally came from Holland. In the northern part of Europe, uh, people like salty candy. So there's uh, there's a lot of different salty candies uh, that uh, come from Holland, uh, and I think in Norway and those northern countries as well, they eat a lot of salted salted licorice. Um, I don't mind it. It's it's kind of yummy. Um, so we also have um, this is my weakness. If you say in English that something is your weakness. It means that you have trouble resisting eating it. Um, in Canada, we call these chocolate bars. So there's like Snickers and Mars and Twix. Uh, you've probably seen advertisements for some of these chocolate bars. Um, but in some parts of the United States, they will call them candy bars. In Canada, we usually call them chocolate bars, at least in my part of Ontario, but you can also call it a candy bar. But these are made out of um, sometimes nuts, sometimes just a sweet filling, but every single one of them has chocolate in great quantities. Many, a lot of chocolate goes into making a chocolate bar uh, or a candy bar. So very, very common in Canada. In fact, if you go to any kind of store in Canada, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you go to any kind of store in Canada, even at a gas station, you will find chocolate bars um, in great quantities. Chocolate bars and chips you can buy anywhere in Canada. Yeah, almost every kind of store will sell them. Um, let me do a few more questions before we go on. Um, so English Danny has given me a super chat and English Danny says, thank you, English Danny. Uh, what's your favorite chocolate bar, Bob? So my favorite chocolate bar is Snickers, uh, which you probably know, but I will explain for everyone watching. Snickers is a chocolate bar that's filled with peanuts. It's really good. Um, I really like chocolate mixed with nuts. It's super yummy. Anyways, Valerie says, hello, Bob. Eating a lot of snacks is not so good for your health. A little correction there, Valerie especially fried chips, especially for your stomach. Be careful, Bob, you need us. Yes, many of you keep me healthy. So uh, there's a few of you that leave comments to help me stay healthy. But Valerie, what you should know is that, um, I, and I'll get to this in the lesson, we also have something that we call healthy snacks. And I'll talk about those a bit later. I try to always eat healthy snacks. Um, and uh, that helps a lot. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Uh, let me get that pasted. It's from Brian. Uh, Brian from Mexico. Hi, Bob. Mr. Bob, what's the best time for you to have a snack? I love cookies and milk. So I usually have a snack every morning around 1030 and I have a snack every afternoon around 330. And then after I have my evening meal, after I have supper or dinner, I try not to snack. I try to stop snacking. So notice there, I'm not sure if you knew this, but we're talking about snacks, but we also say things like snacking. So you can use it as a verb. I was snacking the other day, okay? Um, I snacked on a lot of things yesterday. Um, let's see here. Uh, Yerix has the next question. Um, let's see here. Um, Yerix says, hi, the best teacher, Bob. This is Yerix, how are you? I'm good, Yerix. What kind of snacks do your children like? What kind of snacks do you like? What kind of snacks does your wife like? So my kids like almost anything. In particular, my one son likes popcorn. My other son likes a particular kind of Dorito chip, which is a tortilla chip. Um, my uh, daughters like ice cream, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, they all have slightly different kinds of tastes. Uh, Renata says that I should stay healthy. So yes, Renata, I will try my best to stay healthy. I'm doing what I can. And then Renata says, 
here, your printings or your printouts, we would call these printouts. Your printouts are making me hungry, Bob. Yes, yeah, sorry about that, Renata. That's, that's how it goes. Uh, Dimitro has a great question. Dimitro says, from the Ukraine says, hi, Bob. When you're photographed, do you say cheese or cheers? Cheers. We say cheese. So if you're standing with a group of people and someone's going to take your picture, we usually say cheese because it makes you smile or it makes it look like you're smiling. Um, Yerix says, how often do you eat snacks? So usually twice a day I have a snack and they're usually healthy. Um, Yerix also asks the question, um, what are the most popular snacks in Canada? I would say chocolate bars and chips are the most popular. And then I'll take one more question and we'll get back to the lesson. Renata says, is a pretzel sweet or salty? Our pretzels that we buy in a bag are salty. And I think maybe that's why um, I'm not um, a big fan of pretzels. In English, if you say you're not a big fan of something, it means you don't like it. So I'm not a big fan of pretzels. I said one more question, but we'll do one more question again, <laughs> just to keep up. Um, if I keep up, maybe I'll get through all the questions today. Yerick says, what kind of snacks did you like in your childhood? So I really liked gum, which isn't really a snack, like chewing gum. Uh, but I also, I, my whole life, I have loved chocolate bars. Just, I love chocolate bars. I eat maybe one a month, if that. I hardly ever eat chocolate bars. Um, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay healthy. Um, another snack that is common in Canada and in the United States is something we call a donut. So a donut is um, usually deep fried dough, then covered in chocolate or another topping or some kind of icing. So we would call this, the donut has a chocolate topping. You could also say that the donut has chocolate icing, okay? But donuts are very, very popular uh, in Canada, very, very popular in the United States. In Canada, most people will buy donuts from um, a coffee shop called Tim Hortons. In the United States, they have things like Dunkin' Donuts. You might have heard of Dunkin' Donuts before. So donuts are yummy. I don't eat a lot of donuts. Uh, I maybe eat one donut a month. Um, I like them, but they are a very heavy snack. When we say something is heavy, it means after we eat it, you can feel it in your stomach. So a donut is a very heavy snack. Um, we also have ice cream as a snack. Oh, I was gonna say, people eat donuts um, anytime. They're actually a snack that you will buy uh, to give to your coworkers. Maybe, maybe it's your birthday and you think, oh, I'll buy some donuts for the people at work. That is a, it's a very common snack to buy as a gift. So sometimes at the school, if a parent likes um, the work we are doing, they will buy donuts for the teachers. So we'll come in and there will be a dozen donuts. Um, my favorite donut is a chocolate dip donut. Um, it's not true, actually. I do like double chocolate donuts and I do like Boston cream. I like a lot of different donuts. <laughs> Um, we also have ice cream. So ice cream is a treat that is more popular in the summer uh, because it is a cold treat. So ice cream, of course, is frozen cream that has sugar and sometimes cocoa or other flavors. There are as many kinds of ice cream as there are people on the earth, I think. There are so many different flavors of ice cream. There are so many different kinds of ice cream. You can use both words for that. Um, and uh, so ice cream sometimes is eaten in a bowl, but sometimes we eat it uh, as an ice cream cone. So this is an ice cream cone. It has ice cream in it. Even when you go to the store though, when you buy a box of them, you buy a box of ice cream cones, then you put ice cream in the cone, and then you call it an ice cream cone. It has the same name, whether it has ice cream in it or not. Um, Ahmad Adam, just a reminder, we're trying to keep uh, the chat English only. I think Todd has mentioned that to you a couple times. Uh, let's all work together to keep the chat uh, English only, um, because this is a lesson for people to learn English. So if you could please do that in the chat, that would be awesome. 
Uh, I know all of the regulars here are really good at using the chat to practice their English. So um, Ahmad, Adam, and I think it's Karayahi, yes. Uh, if you guys could talk English, that'd be great. Hey, so sometimes when we have ice cream, we put toppings on it, okay? So toppings are like small candies or chocolate chips. Um, these are called sprinkles. I know you can't see all of these, but sometimes when we eat ice cream in a bowl, we will put toppings on top, okay? So we will put toppings on, maybe we'll put chocolate syrup, or maybe we'll put caramel on top, but sometimes, I guess, because the ice cream isn't sweet enough, we put more stuff on top, but we would call those toppings. Um, uh, and um, let me do a few more questions. Uh, let's see here. Um, yes, let me grab the next question. Let me clean up for a sec. I got a few too many questions over here, and then we get the next one. Okay, so, this is a question about fast food, which isn't really a snack, but sometimes people snack on it. Stacy says, what do people in Canada prefer more, McDonald's or KFC? I think McDonald's is more popular. Um, Mark says, are biscuits, pizza, sandwiches, and bread all considered snacks? So the way we say biscuit in Canada would not really be considered a snack, okay? And pizza, sandwiches, and bread usually aren't snacks, although, Sometimes you buy pizza and you have leftover pizza. Maybe you didn't eat the whole pizza, so you put it in the fridge. And then later that day, you might say, oh, I'm gonna have a late night snack. Oh, I'll eat a cold slice of pizza. Um, so then you would call it a snack, but generally we do not call those uh, snacks. William says, good morning, Bob. Good morning, William. Uh, do you like Doritos or Pringles? Those are my favorite chips. So I like Pringles, they're okay. Um, but if you listen to the lesson, you can start to figure out that I like sweet snacks more than I like salty snacks. So I like chocolate bars better than chips. I like cookies better than pretzels. So I'm definitely someone who likes um, uh, sweet snacks. So we sometimes will say to someone, are you a sweet or salty person? Uh, Lolly has left a super chat saying, I am starving now. I'll go for a slice of pizza. Sorry to make you hungry, Lolly Lolly, but thank you very much uh, for the super chat. That is awesome of you. Thank, thanks, thank you. Um, Zara says, hello, teacher Bob. What would we call somebody who eats a lot? I don't mean someone who is fat or somebody who is fat. Somebody like me who is always eating. Um, that's tricky. Um, we don't have a specific word for someone who is always eating necessarily. Like um, teenagers tend to eat a lot. So we would just say they're always eating. Um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe one of the other English teachers in the chat would know a word for that. Um, let's see here. Prat Yusha Adjiraju says, what is, the, what is the difference? A little correction there. What is the difference between candy and chocolate? So candy is anything sweet that's made out of sugar. There's hard candy, there's soft candy, there's sweet, sour, salty candy. But chocolate always has cocoa in it, okay? So chocolate is always something that is made out of cocoa. And how do you pronounce croissant? So in, in, in English, people mispronounce it and they say, croissant. So they don't, lolly lolly, please don't get upset, but most English speakers say croissant, okay? So that's how you, you would say, oh, I'm gonna go to the bakery and buy a croissant uh, instead of croissant. So sorry, we kind of mess up that word a little bit. Um, so Renata has the next question. Um, she says, yeah, thanks, Sean. I, I buzzed it a little short. Okay, uh, Sean says, nice haircut, Bobby. So Bobby is actually um, like a nickname um, that you call someone who, so Bob is a short form of Robert, and then Bobby is another form of the name. So thanks, Sean. Um, getting back to the question there, uh, Renata says, don't let your kids get cavities. Okay, Bob. So a cavity is when, if you have too much sugar, your teeth can get cavities, and then you have to get the cavity taken out and a filling put in. Um, so if you eat a lot of candy or have a lot of sugar in your diet, it can um, increase the chance that you uh, have cavities. Ricardo says, hi Bob, is it the same? 
Are snacks and appetizers the same? No. So an appetizer is something you have before a meal. So when you go to a restaurant, you can order an appetizer and you order a meal and they bring you the appetizer first. Um, some appetizers are similar to snacks, like tortilla chips or chips and salsa. Um, but usually an appetizer is something that you order before a meal and snacks are something you eat uh, when you need a snack. Hey, let's talk about cakes. So um, if you remember, I did a lesson a few months ago on celebrations and, and almost every celebration we have uh, in Canada, and this is true in the United States as well, um, you have cake. So you have cake at a wedding, you have cake when you have a birthday. Um, cake is always made um, out of flour, or not always, it's mostly made out of flour. Um, and then it usually has icing on the top. So a cake uh, can be chocolate. Um, there are all different kinds of cakes. Um, if we were to do a lesson on cakes from around the world, it would probably take all day uh, to talk about it. Uh, if you don't want to make a cake though, and you want to make something smaller, you can make a cupcake. Uh, so a cupcake is a miniature cake or a small cake. Uh, cupcakes are very common at kids' birthday parties. Um, so they're kind of fun to make and you can put different icing on each cupcake. So you can put vanilla icing on one, chocolate icing on another. Um, cake, uh, cupcakes are pretty popular. Um, they're uh, similar to donuts. Sometimes at work someone will bring in cupcakes um, and they're just really easy to eat. Um, another common uh, snack, these are kind of I guess this is more of a dessert, um, but it could be a snack. So a dessert is something you eat after a meal. Um, so pie maybe isn't really a snack. It's, it's, it's snuck into the lesson, um, but pie is something where it usually has a filling, like this is an apple pie. So it has a crust, which we call a pie crust, and it has a filling. Um, so this is definitely probably more of a dessert than a snack. Although the other day I came home from work and I had a slice of pie as a snack. So, I mean, yeah, definitely can be both. Um, there are a lot of kinds of pie as well. Cherry pie, pumpkin pie, apple pie, lemon meringue pie. There, there's a lot of pie, a lot of pie in the world. Um, here's where you get snacks. If you go to a grocery store in Canada or the United States, there is a snack aisle. You can literally ask, where is the snack aisle? And they will say, oh, it's aisle four or something like that. Um, but definitely um, there are snacks, uh, a snack, uh, there is a snack aisle in the grocery store. Um, and the snack aisle is, uh, is usually filled with chips on one side, cookies on the other, and then a lot of pop or soda uh, as well. So this is the aisle I usually don't go down when I'm in the store. Um, just let me check something here. Um, yeah, we're good. Um, the other place you can buy snacks, um, you can buy snacks from a vending machine. So you are probably familiar with these. There are vending machines that sell drinks and there are vending machines that sell snacks. Um, at our school, we have a vending machine that's full of healthy snacks and we have another vending machine that's full of not so healthy snacks. So um, obviously there are two kinds of snacks in the world and we've only talked about the unhealthy kind. Um, I think Dave's here. Uh, I think Dave is just uh, doing some work in the background and Dave is uh, learning how to admin or moderate the chat right now. Uh, I know he's working hard. So, um, But uh, for those of you that didn't know, Todd is here moderating the chat, but we also have Dave here today who is helping out. Um, I think because last week we hit almost 700 viewers, I thought it would be a good idea to have uh, a couple people helping with the chat. So Dave's learning how to do the chat, how to moderate. Todd's helping him uh, learn how to do that. And I'm teaching English, so let's get back to that. These are uh, what we would call healthy snacks. Here we go. This is how I wanted to do this one. So these are healthy snacks. Um, in general, even though most of this lesson I talked about snacks that are full of sugar or salt and are a little bit unhealthy if you eat too many of them, uh, we do have healthy snacks. The most common healthy snacks in North America 
um, are probably bananas, apples, oranges, and these are tangerines, which is a smaller citrus fruit. Um, because uh, we live in North America and part of North America is close to the southern, uh, that sentence didn't make sense. I was basically wanting to say that because we have Florida, the state of Florida in the United States, uh, it grows a lot of citrus fruit and we get a lot of citrus fruit, uh, which are oranges and tangerines and, uh, sorry, oranges and tangerines and grapefruit uh, from Florida. Um, but this is what most of my coworkers eat at lunch, okay? So most of my coworkers, sorry, eat as a snack. I'm losing track of what I'm saying here. Most of my coworkers uh, will snack on healthy things like bananas, apples, oranges, and tangerines. There are other fruits that people eat as a snack, but we would call these healthy snacks. The other thing that is common is for people to eat carrots, or celery, and usually we cut our carrots up into little sticks, and we call them carrot sticks. Um, and usually we um, cut celery up, and we'll call it celery sticks. But um, generally, uh, when I watch my coworkers eat snacks, they're eating bananas, apples, oranges, celery, carrot sticks. Sometimes baby tomatoes eat little tomatoes. Um, sometimes cucumber is eaten as a snack. Um, and then also we have, of course, uh, nuts that are eaten as snacks. These are considered healthy if you don't eat too many and unhealthy if you eat way too many. So it's kind of a, a unique snack that way. Um, you don't want to eat too many nuts. Nuts are very high, uh, have a lot of energy, a lot of uh, fat and oil, but nuts are healthy. So we would consider these a healthy option. Uh, let me jump back. Uh, to the questions, and we'll see what we got here. Zami says, what is the difference between snacks and desserts? That's a great question. So a snack is something that you usually eat between meals. So let's say you have breakfast at 6 a.m. and around 9.30 in the morning, you're a little hungry. You would probably have a snack. Um, but a dessert is something that you eat at the end of a meal. We don't often eat dessert in my family because it's not that healthy to, to eat dessert every day. Uh, but sometimes on the weekend, uh, after we have supper on a Saturday, we will have dessert, but uh, usually we don't. So snacks are something you eat throughout the day, small things that you eat when you are hungry. Um, and dessert is something you eat at the end of the meal. Um, let's see here. Next one is... Edmund says, hi, Bob, do Canadians make, says snake, but you mean snacks, right? Do Canadians make snacks themselves at home or buy them in a grocery store? A few corrections there, Edmund, just so you know. Hi, Bob, do Canadians make snacks themselves at home or do they buy them in a grocery store? So we do both. We make cookies at home and we buy cookies from the grocery store. Um, we buy chips from the grocery store. We don't make our own chips. Um, but sometimes we make brownies at home. If you remember from the beginning, we talked about brownies. So it, it, it kind of depends. I think most Canadians do a little bit of both. They buy some uh, snacks from the grocery store and they just make some snacks themselves at home. It depends how busy you are. Certainly homemade snacks are usually better uh, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Saeed, yes, Saeed, this is correct. Saeed says, snack can be used as a verb like I'm snacking. Yes, you absolutely can say I'm snacking. 100% uh, correct in English. Uh, so you can say, I need a snack. You can say, yesterday when I was snacking on chocolate bars, I ate too many. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Raphael says, hi, Bob. Hi, Raphael. Um, Thank you for your videos. Is there a snack in Canada like dried apple chips? So we have dried apples, dried bananas. We have plantain chips, all of those kinds of things. They're not as popular, but we certainly do have them. Pavel from East Europe says, Hi, Teacher Bob, what is your favorite drink? So my favorite drink, mostly I drink water. I drink a lot of water through the day. And I usually have one cup of coffee every morning. 
Sean, I still haven't found my travel mug back. I think it's in my van, but I'm using Jen's still. Um, so I have one decaf coffee in the morning and I drink water the rest of the day. So I think my favorite drink is probably water, a good glass of water. Um, let's see here. So Jen says, are candies and chocolate all called candy? So generally, no. Candy is usually something that's sweet and has flavorings in it to make it taste fruity or sour or sweet. And chocolate, we would just refer to as chocolates, okay? Um, so I, I think there, if something has chocolate in it, we usually don't call it a candy. You, you can, it wouldn't be incorrect, um, but uh, certainly, yeah, we wouldn't uh, um, call it that. Sorry, I'm pausing here. Um, trying to read the next question and think at the same time, and that's not working very well today. Um, says Valerie says, do you or your children go to McDonald's to eat? In my honest opinion, some food in McDonald's is disgusting. A little correction at the end there is disgusting. Uh, so my kids like McDonald's. We do take them to McDonald's maybe every other month or so. And when we go, um, <laughs> Jen and I usually don't order anything, or I just order a small hamburger. I don't eat a lot um, at fast food restaurants. So we don't like to take our kids out to eat fast food because it's a little bit unhealthy, uh, but sometimes uh, we do. Uh, Jean says, uh, hi Bob, what is your favorite kind of donut? Greetings from Russia. Hello Jean. Uh, so I like, basically, like I said earlier, I, I think I like any kind of donut that has chocolate on it or in it. I think that's my, that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my requirement for a good donut, um, for sure. Uh, hey, I wanna say hi to the 563 people watching. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if this video is helping you. We're just uh, finishing up a lesson on snacks and uh, I'm going to just do a few more questions uh, from the uh, question sheet here. Uh, Zarni says, hi, Bob. It would be great if you could say sneeze, snooze, snacks, snuck. Got that? So sometimes I sneeze, achoo. Um, the other day I had a snooze like that. I like to eat snacks. Where did my question go? And that guy snuck into the house. There you go. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's close, Sean. Jean, Sean, a little bit of a mispronunciation. Um, Next question is from Mustafa. Hi, Bob. Could we say that some snacks are dangerous for your health, especially frozen foods and sweet foods? Second question is, what is the meaning of yummy? So you could say that food is bad for your health. Certain snacks are bad for your health. We rarely use the word dangerous unless, like we would say, you know, smoking is bad for your health or smoking is, is dangerous. Wouldn't quite say that. We would use bad. Um, and yummy is just anything that tastes good, you would say it is yummy, uh, for sure. Um, let me see here. Um, not going to get through all the questions, everybody, so I'm trying my best um, to get through them. Uh, Marco says, is there any kind of government control about what children eat in Canada at school? So not really. Most kids in school will bring a lunch to school or they will eat food from the school cafeteria. The school itself will probably have what we would call guidelines. So not laws or rules, but they will have guidelines for the kind of food that they will serve in the school cafeteria. And part of those guidelines would be that the food should be somewhat healthy. We're not against snacks in our school or unhealthy food. It's certainly okay for kids to have something fun to eat once in a while, but Certainly, we have guidelines for what kind of food we would serve in a school cafeteria. Cafeteria, sorry. Um, I was up a little bit late last night. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm having trouble pronouncing things correctly. Singum says, what kind of gum does Canada have and have you eaten gum when you're working ever? So I do not chew gum at work. So in English, we chew gum. Uh, we don't eat gum, we say chew gum. And uh, there's all kinds of different gum. Uh, there's peppermint and spearmint and cinnamon gum. And there's, when you go through the checkout of a grocery store, you will see all kinds of different gum. Um, hey folks, um, thank you so much to the 570 of you watching. We are going to wrap this up. If you did not understand certain parts of this, please come back tomorrow and rewatch 
the parts that you didn't understand and turn the subtitles on. Uh, Sean is saying, sponsored by Tim Hortons. Yeah, I actually have a box of Timbits here for my students later. I should have showed that to people. Anyways, if you didn't understand parts, please turn the English subtitles on tomorrow and watch parts of this video again. I wanna just thank uh, Dave and Todd for helping out. Uh, thanks to English Danny and Sean for being here in the chat as well. And thanks to all of you. Uh, subscribe if you're new, thumbs up if this video helped you a bit. I'm sorry if I made you hungry today. I'm sure half of the people here are going to go and have a snack right now um, because I probably made you hungry. So Shen, yes, sorry, the class is ending Shen. So thank you all of you for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day um, and join me tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a English lesson again, question and answer session. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to push the button. Have a great